Welcome to Technology and Livelihood Education. Modatag Curriculum. Information and Communication Technology for Grade 7. Our topic is Sectors of ICT and its Career and Business Opportunities. Week 1. The content standard for this lesson is to demonstrate an understanding of ICT sectors, as well as the potential career and business opportunities these sectors offer in relation to their chosen career in the future. The learning competency for this lesson is to Analyze the various sectors of ICT and evaluate the potential career and business prospects relevant to their future career choices. Sectors of ICT and its career and business opportunities. First is computer programming, next is the visual arts, computer system servicing and telecommunication. ICT stands for Information and Communication Technology. It is a broad field that encompasses the technologies used to manage, process, and communicate information. The study of ICT involves understanding how these technologies work, how they can be used to solve practical problems, and their impact on individuals, organizations, and society. Information and Communication Technology ICT, is a dynamic and multidisciplinary field that has revolutionized the way information is gathered, processed, stored, communicated, and used across various domains of human activity. At its core, ICT encompasses a vast array of technologies, infrastructures, applications, and methodologies that enable individuals, organizations, and societies to interact in the digital age. The following are the key areas of study in ICT. First is the computer programming, the visual arts, the computer system servicing and telecommunication, the first area of study within ICT is the computer programming. Computer programming is often simply referred to as programming, it is the process of designing and writing instructions, code, for computers to follow. These instructions are written in programming languages that humans can understand and are then translated by the computer into machine-readable instructions that it can execute. Computer programming is the art and science of writing instructions for computers using programming languages to create software and solve problems efficiently and effectively. It is a foundational skill in the modern digital age, enabling technological innovation and driving progress across various fields. The following are the careers in computer programming. Computer programming skills are highly sought after across various industries, leading to a wide range of job roles and career paths for programmers. Here are some common job roles in computer programming. First is the software developer slash software engineer. Software developers design, develop, and test software applications or systems. They may specialize in front-end development or the user interfaces, back-end development or the server-side logic, and the full-stack development or both front-end and back-end. Next is the mobile application developer. The mobile app developers create applications for mobile devices, iOS, Android. They develop native apps using platform-specific languages, Swift for iOS, Kotlin slash Java for Android, or cross-platform frameworks, React Native, Flutter. Number 4, Systems Analyst, they analyze and design information systems to meet the needs of organizations. They assess current systems, gather requirements, and propose solutions that involve programming and integrating software components. Number 5. Game Developer Create interactive games for various platforms, PC, consoles, mobile. They work on game mechanics, graphics rendering, physics engines, and multiplayer networking. Careers in computer programming represent a diverse range of opportunities for computer programmers, each requiring specific skills, expertise, and often specialization in particular technologies or domains. As technology continues to evolve, new job roles in programming and related fields are continually emerging, offering exciting career prospects for aspiring programmers. Another key areas of study in ICT is the visual arts. In the context of ICT, information and communication technology, Visual arts refers to the use of digital technology and computational tools to create, manipulate, and present visual artworks. 
This intersection combines artistic creativity with technological innovation, leveraging digital mediums and software to explore new forms of expression and communication. Visual arts and ICT blend traditional artistic practices with modern technology, offering artists new avenues for creativity and expression. This interdisciplinary approach fosters innovation and collaboration across art, design, technology, and communication fields, shaping contemporary artistic practices in the digital age. The following are the careers in visual arts. In the realm of ICT, information and communication technology, and visual arts, several specialized job roles cater to the intersection of technology and artistic creativity. These roles leverage digital tools, software, and multimedia techniques to create visually engaging content, applications, and experiences. Here are some key job roles in ICT visual arts. First is the digital artist or digital illustrator. Digital artists use software tools to create illustrations, graphics, and visual designs for various purposes such as advertising, publishing, and multimedia projects. They blend artistic creativity with technical proficiency in digital art software. Number two is the graphic designer. They create visual concepts and designs for print and digital media. They work on layouts, typography, and visual elements to communicate messages effectively. In ICT, they often create user interfaces, UI, for websites, apps, and other digital platforms. Next is the 3D modeler or animator. The 3D modelers and animators create three-dimensional models, animations, and visual effects using specialized software. They work in industries such as gaming, film, virtual reality, VR, and augmented reality, AR, bringing characters, environments, and scenes to life. Next is the web designer or web developer, create the visual layout and aesthetics of websites, incorporating elements such as colors, typography, and graphics. Web developers use programming languages, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, to implement these designs into functional websites. And the digital content creator. They produce multimedia content for online platforms, including videos, animations, infographics, and interactive media. They use a combination of creative skills and digital tools to engage audiences and convey messages effectively. Another career in visual arts is the motion graphics designer. They create animated graphics and visual effects for videos, films, presentations, and digital media. They combine design elements with animation techniques to communicate ideas and enhance visual storytelling. Next is the game artist. Game artists create visual assets such as characters, environments, textures, and animations for video games. They collaborate with game designers and developers to create immersive gaming experiences. Number 8 is the Interactive Media Designer. They create engaging and interactive experiences using digital technologies. They may work on installations, exhibitions, educational software, and interactive websites or apps that involve user interaction and engagement. And finally, the digital marketing designer. They create visual content for online marketing campaigns, including social media graphics, banners, ads, and email newsletters. They blend design creativity with marketing strategies to attract and engage audiences. The careers in visual arts require a blend of artistic creativity, technical proficiency in digital tools and software, and often an understanding of user interaction and audience engagement. They cater to diverse industries and sectors where visual communication and digital content creation are essential for engaging audiences and achieving business objectives. Another key areas of study within ICT is the computer system servicing. Computer system servicing refers to the process of maintaining and optimizing computer systems to ensure they operate efficiently, reliably, and securely. It involves a combination of hardware and software maintenance tasks aimed at preventing issues, resolving problems, and improving overall performance. Computer system servicing is essential to ensure that IT infrastructure remains reliable, secure, and optimized for business operations. By maintaining hardware and software components, businesses can minimize downtime, improve productivity, protect data integrity, and extend the lifespan of IT investments. 
Regular servicing also helps in complying with industry regulations and safeguarding against security threats, thereby supporting overall business continuity and growth. The following are the careers in computer servicing. Job roles in computer servicing encompass a variety of positions focused on maintaining, repairing, and optimizing computer systems and IT infrastructure. These roles are crucial for ensuring that organizations' technology functions efficiently and securely. Here are some common job roles in computer servicing. First is the IT support technician or help desk technician. They provide technical assistance to end users and organizations. They troubleshoot hardware and software issues, install and configure computer systems and peripherals, and resolve technical problems via phone, email, or in person. Next is the desktop support engineer. Desktop support engineer focus on supporting desktop computers, laptops, and peripherals within an organization. They handle hardware and software installations, maintenance, upgrades, and troubleshooting for individual users. Number four is the system administrator. They oversee the day-to-day -day operations of computer systems and servers within an organization. They manage user accounts, install and configure software and applications, monitor system performance, and ensure data backups and recovery. Next is the IT Security Specialist. IT Security Specialist focuses on protecting organizations' computer systems and networks from cybersecurity threats. They implement security measures, monitor for security breaches, conduct vulnerability assessments, and respond to incidents. Number six is the hardware engineer or hardware technician. They specialize in repairing and maintaining computer hardware components. They diagnose hardware problems, replace faulty parts, upgrade hardware components, and perform preventive maintenance. The data center technician. The data center technician role is to manage and maintain the physical infrastructure of data centers, including servers, storage systems, and networking equipment. They ensure data center operations run smoothly, perform equipment installations and upgrades, and monitor environmental conditions. The Field Service Technician The field service technicians travel to client sites to provide on-site support and maintenance for computer systems, networks, and peripherals. They handle installations, repairs, upgrades, and user training. Next is the IT Consultant. They provide advisory services to organizations on IT strategy, infrastructure design, implementation, and optimization. They assess client needs, recommend solutions, and oversee IT projects. And finally, the computer forensics analyst. Their role is to investigate and analyze digital evidence related to cybercrimes, data breaches, or internal investigations. They use forensic tools and techniques to recover data analyze malware, and present findings for legal purposes. These job roles in computer servicing require a combination of technical skills, problem-solving abilities, and often involve interaction with end-users or clients. They play a critical role in ensuring that computer systems and IT infrastructure operate efficiently, securely, and align with organizational goals and requirements. Another key areas of study within ICT is the telecommunication. Telecommunication and ICT refers to the transmission of information over long distances using electronic and digital means. It involves the use of various technologies and devices to transmit, receive, and process data, voice, and video signals between individuals, organizations, or computer systems. Telecommunication and ICT continues to evolve with advancements in technology, driving global connectivity, digital transformation, and innovations in communication services. It plays a pivotal role in connecting individuals, organizations, and devices worldwide, enabling seamless exchange of information and enhancing productivity in various sectors. The telecommunication and contact center services refers to the use of telecommunications technologies and tools to facilitate communication between customers and agents within a contact center environment. It involves the transmission of voice, data, and multimedia information over networks to support customer interactions and service delivery. Contact center services encompasses a wide range of technologies and tools that enable efficient communication, collaboration, and service delivery between agents and customers. These technologies are essential in optimizing operations, 
improving customer satisfaction, and supporting business growth in modern contact center environments. The following are the careers in telecommunication. Job roles in contact center services encompass a range of positions dedicated to managing customer interactions, providing support, and ensuring efficient operation of contact centers. These roles focus on delivering exceptional customer service, resolving issues, and maintaining positive customer relationships. Here are some key job roles in contact center services. First is the Customer Service Representative or CSR, interact directly with customers to handle inquiries, provide information, process orders, and resolve complaints. They may communicate via phone, email, chat, or social media. Next is the Technical Support Specialist. They assist customers with technical issues related to products or services. They troubleshoot hardware or software problems, provide solutions, and escalate complex issues to higher-level support teams if needed. Number three is the team leader or supervisor. They oversee a team of customer service representatives or technical support specialists. They monitor performance metrics, coach team members, handle escalated issues, and ensure adherence to service level agreements, SLAs. Number four is the Quality Assurance Analyst, or QA. They monitor and evaluate interactions between customers and customer service representatives. They assess the quality of customer service delivery, adherence to scripts and procedures, and compliance with company standards. And finally, the Call Center Agent. They often referred to simply as an agent, is an individual who handles incoming or outgoing customer calls on behalf of a company or organization. Their primary role is to provide customer support, resolve inquiries, and assist with various customer service issues. The importance of continuous learning in ICT. Continuous learning and skill development are not just advantageous but essential for ICT professionals aiming to thrive in their careers. By staying abreast of technological advancements, honing their expertise, and fostering a mindset of lifelong learning, professionals can sustain their relevance, drive innovation, and achieve long-term success in the dynamic field of ICT. A time to remember. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.